Naam, Sabalheri mpenzi mtazamaji wanasema popo huninginiza kichwa cha chini aone wafanyayo ndege wenzake. Yaani inamaanisha kwamba uh, ni vyema kuchunguza tu kitu pole pole bila kupiga kelele, uangalie kwanza kama ni yapi yaliopo um, tofauti na ama mbali na ile kupiga kelele tu kuropokwa kupayuka tu na hujui kama ni yapi ambayo yameendelea mtazamaji ndio usemi wa asubuhi leo ikiwa ni Ijumaa mtazamaji ya 23 mwezi wa Februari mwaka 2024 uh, karibu na shukrani za dhati kwa kuweza kuchagua kuch, kwa kuweza kuwa mkanasa asubuhi leo kwenye kipindi hiki cha kuzacha sijui unatazama ukiwa maeneo gani lakini mimi nipo hapa tu kuanzia siku yako vile vile weekend yako mimi ni kamchemenza lakini kama ilivyo ada ni kujuza mawili matatu kwenye taarifa zetu alafu nipishe usukani huu kwa wenzangu wa wanakuzacha karibu moja kwa moja ni kwamba takwimu za kuhofisha zinaashiria kwamba asilimia saba ya wakenya wamewahi kutumia aina moja au nyingine ya bidhaa zilizoharamishwa katika maisha yao haya ni kwa mujibu wa ripoti ya utafiti wa halmashauri ya kukabiliana na uraibu wa pombe na mihadarati uliofanywa mwaka, mwaka uliopita halmashauri hiyo inasema utepetevu katika utekelezaji wa kanuni za utoaji leseni za uzaji pombe pamoja na ufisadi ndivyo vizingiti vikuu katika jitihada za kutokomeza uraibu wa pombe na mihadarati huyo hapa Joseph Wakungu na mengi zaidi kuhusu takwimu hizi za kuvunja moyo wakati taifa likikabiliwa na ongezeko la visa vya uraibu Wiki moja baada ya watu 17 kwa gadunia baada ya kubogia pombe haramu katika kaunti ya Kirinyaga Halmashauri ya kukabiliana na uraibu wa pombe na mihadarati imechapisha ripoti ya utafiti uliofanywa mwaka 2022 kuhusu hali ya uraibu wa pombe na mihadarati huko nchini akiongea jijini Nairobi wakati wa ufunguzi wa kongamano la kitaifa kuhusu kuzuia uraibu wa pombe na mihadarati Mwenyekiti wa bodi ya almashauri hiyo Dr. Stephen Mayuri amefichua kwamba asilimia saba ya Wakenya wamewahi kutumia vileo au mihadarati visivyo ilibainika kuwa eneo la magharibi ndilo linaloongoza kwa visa vya uraibu in terms of drugs alcohol is the leading one you know anything that alters your your brain is a drug many people don't take alcohol as a drug but alcohol is uh, a drug and is the leading cause of what i would call now mental illness the second one is what we know as bangi and that's also a major problem in our country ili kutokomeza kero hili halmashauri hiyo inazishauri kaunti nyingine kuiga mfano wa serikali ya kaunti ya Kirinyaga ambayo imechukua hatua madhubuti ikiwemo kudhibiti utoaji leseni kwa vilabu vya pombe ili kukabiliana na ongezeko la maeneo ya kuuza pombe yasiyoidhinishwa wadau waliozungumza wakati wa kongamano hilo walitoa wito wa kuimarishwa kwa ujumbe zinazolenga vijana kuhusu haja ya kuwa kwenye msari wa mbele kwenye vita dhidi ya uraibu wa pombe na mihadarati But how are we going to have a targeted messages to our our our, our crew our matatu crew who transport lives I regard matatu as a third parent of this country but do you feel protected I'll ask you do you feel protected and also you as a citizen are you taking enough a responsibility in regards into allowing yourself to be driven by a drunk driver Huko vita dhidi ya matumizi ya pombe na mihadarati vikizidi kushika kasi nchini Shirika la Nakada nilielezea haja ya serikali za kaunti kuchukua hatua madhubuti zaidi ikiwemo kufunga ba na maeneo ya burudani sawa nilivyofanya kaunti ya Kirinyaga ili kuweza kupata ufanisi katika vita dhidi ya pombe na mihadarati na Kenya inataka majani chai yake yote yanayouzwa katika soko la kimataifa kutambuliwa kuwa majani chai ya Kenya. Rais William Ruto amesema hatua hii itakomesha hali ambapo mataifa mengine hupakia upya majani chai ya Kenya na kuyauza kama majani chai yao. Na jinsi Abdiaziz Hashim anavyotuarifu, Kenya pia imezindua mikakati ya kuimarisha ubora wa majani chai yake kupitia utoaji mafunzo kwa watarishaji majani chai kufikia taasisi ya Lipton Tea Innovation na Teknolojia. Baada ya mkutano mfupi kati ya Rais William Ruto na Nathalie Ross afisa mkuu mtendaji wa kampuni ya Lipton Teas Infusions Limited. I think it's time now for us using scientific empirical evidence for us to tell our farmers what kind of tea will give them the best price. 
And that is why this academy becomes very important. Global market volatility and changing consumer taste, our ability to innovate will determine our future success. Specialized training is therefore essential. Kenya itakuwa na taasisi ya Lipton T Innovation Technology Academy ambayo itakuwa ya kwanza ya aina yake. Taasisi hiyo itawalenga wakulima wa majani chai na wa Kenya wengine wanaotaka kujipatia ujuzi wa hali ya juu wa utayarishaji majani chai. We have a 500 million academy supporting our entire tea industry of 5 million Kenyans. 650,000 farmers will benefit from this intervention the Lipton Tea Innovation and Technology Academy will be a global center of excellence it will combine theoretical trade teaching applied research and practical experience Lipton Innovation and Technology Academy will be able to train our farmers on improved farming techniques and this will of, of course improve the quality and the yield of our tea. Rais Ruto amesema serikali itashirikiana na kampuni ya Lipton ili kuimarisha uuzaji wa majani chai ya Kenya katika maduka yaliyo nje ya nchi hii. The English press tea will be replaced by Kenyan tea. Because it's always it is all it has always been Kenyan tea but it has always been labeled English breakfast tea. Thank you Liptons for making it a reality for us to have a Kenyan brand. Na zaidi ya wafanyabiashara 200 mtaani Sili jijini Nairobi waliandamana kulalamikia kufungwa kwa biashara zao ya pata juma moja sasa baada ya bodi ya maziwa humu nchini kuagiza kufungwa kwa biashara zote za maziwa ya unga na bidhaa nyingine za maziwa. Wafanyabiashara hao waliojawa na ghadhabu wanashutumu bodi kutokana na madai kwamba wamekuwa wakiuza bidhaa gushi. Sasa wanaitaka serikali kuingilia kati wakidai kuwa baadhi yao, yao baadhi yao wanauza maziwa halisi na wana leseni za kuhudumu. Hivi ndivyo hali ilivyokuwa katika eneo la Isli. Wafanyabiashara waliogadhibika wanauza maziwa na bidhaa za maziwa wakiandamana kulalamikia kuhusu hatua ya bodi ya maziwa ya kufunga biashara zao. Maandamano hayo yanajiri wiki moja baada ya maafisa wa bodi ya maziwa humo nchini pamoja na polisi kutekeleza msako katika eneo hilo kufuatia malalamishi kwamba wamekuwa wakiuza bidhaa gushi. Wafanyabiashara hao wanalaumu bodi hiyo kwa mapendeleo wakati wa kufungwa kwa baadhi ya biashara. Everybody knows even the number one knows what what these people are doing. The economy the growth of economy that we have contributed. Now we are telling this this eye officers sit down and tell us exactly what you want you have arrested many people you have taken many goods worth of 15 million we don't know up to now where all goods where all those goods are ni wiki ya pili biashara ishafungwa na inaadhiri aina mingi ulisikia watu wakiongea hapa watu wa boda boda wale wafanyikazi wa hizo maduka wenye maduka wenyewe wote wanaadhirika kwa sababu wanadaiwa madeni wanafaa kulipa fizi ya shule wanasaka wanafaa kulipa rent za manyumba ushuru ya serikali bado ipo lazima urudishe returns so wanaadhirika vibaya sana maziwa yote iko na kila kitu sisi sio importers lakini tuna, e, tunachukua tunachukua kwa Nestle through distributors eh tunawaletea na tunampatia mpaka receipt iko na ITR ile maziwa alibeba ile yote iko na guarantee iko na receipt tujaomba serikali irudishe hiyo maziwa sasa wanatoa wito kwa idara ya biashara ndogo na zile za kadri kuingilia kati swala hilo. Na mkurugenzi wa idara ya upelelezi Mohamed Amin anaitaka mahakama kumruhusu ama kuiruhusu idara yake kumzuilia askofu David Kariuki Ngare anayefahamika kama Gakuyo uh, kwa siku nne. Maafisa wa upelelezi walihimiza mahakama iwaruhusu kumzuilia askofu huyo kwa siku hizo ili wakamilishe uchunguzi kuhusiana na madai ya kupanga kuwatapeli wananchi zaidi ya shilingi bilioni moja kupitia kwa kampuni tatu zinazomilikiwa na Gakuyo. Mahakama ya Milimani kwa saa nne ilisikiza mawasilishi kutoka kwa upande wa utetezi na mawakili wa serikali. Odes. 
to have the respondent detained for four days at the Mosaiga police station. And the said notice of motion is supported by an affidavit sworn by one Corporal Bernard Gikandi. Afisa mkuu wa uchunguzi Bernard Gikandi alimfahamisha hakimu mkazi Geoffrey Onsarigo kwamba mshtakiwa aliwatapeli wanachama zaidi ya shilingi bilioni moja kwa kutumia kampuni zake tatu za uwekezaji ambazo ni chama cha ushirika wa akiba na mikopo Gakuyo Real Estate na Gakuyo Investors Club na maafisa upelelezi wanaamini alikuwa kijaribu kutoroka kutoka humo nchini ili kukwepa kushtakiwa was subsequently arrested and is currently detained at Moraiga police station. <coughs> Your Honor, I fairly believe that the respondent is a flight risk and is likely to escape the jurisdiction of this court, Your Honor. The respondent is likely to interfere with the ongoing investigations, including contacting critical witnesses and concealing material documents necessary and relevant to the investigations, Your Honor. Madai ambayo yalipingwa vikali na mawakili waliomwakilisha Gakuyo. That has been sworn by one friendly uh, uh, Bernard Ekandi. And we are wondering under what capacity the prosecutor can attest to the content contained therein. And therefore, if whatever she's submitting on your honor is going to go on record, it will be prejudicial to the defense. This is investigation. And at 157 of the Constitution does not empower the DPP to be part anywhere of investigation. Where well, that the respondent has a right not to give any self-incriminating evidence. Yes, you are aware of that? Yes, sir. And against that knowledge, you still want or insist that the court should detain him for four days? Mawakili yao waliomba mahakama itupilie mbali madai ya DCI wakisema hayana msingi wowote. Mahakama itatoa uamuzi wake hapo kesho. Askofu David Gakuyo sasa atasalia kizuizini hadi hapo kesho huku upande wa mashtaka ukiomba mahakama kuipa siku ine ili waweze kumaliza uchunguzi kwenye kampuni zinazomhusu askofu huyo Ruth Wamboi nikiripotia kuzacha kutoka milimani hapa jijini Nairobi Na walimu wanagenzi na sita wanatarajiwa kupelekwa katika vituo mbalimbali vya urekebishaji tabia kote nchini. Walimu hao chini ya mpango wa wanagenzi katika sekta ya umma wamehimizwa kuwatumikia wafungwa kwa kujitolea na uadilifu kwa lengo la kurekebisha maisha yao. Elimu magerezani ni sehemu ya mpango unaoendelea wa serikali wa kurekebisha tabia kwa wafungwa. Alhamisi asubuhi katika chuo cha mafunzo wafanyikazi wa idara ya magereza huko Ruiru kaunti ya Kiambu. Walimu hamsini na sita wanagenzi waliojiriwa na serikali wanapokea ushauri kabla ya kupelekwa katika magereza mbalimbali kwa ajili ya kuwafunza wafungwa. Wanahamasishwa kuhusu kanuni za maadili, wanapoanza safari ya kutoa mafunzo kwa kundi la kipekee la wanafunzi ambao ni wafungwa. When we use formal education for as a rehabilitation strategy, then we are actually doing what God has even called us to do in this state department. And that is why now you are coming in is very, very important, so important that nobody can rubbish what you are coming to do. Kwenye hotuba iliyosomwa na Peter Wanjohi kwa niaba yake, katibu katika idara urekebishaji tabia Salome Biako alisema walimu hao watahitajika kuwatumikia wafungwa kwa kujitolea na uadilifu. I urge you to approach your work with empathy, understanding and compassion. Many of the individuals you will encounter have faced difficult challenges and barriers in their lives. Pia walihimizwa kujivunia jukumu walilotwikwa ambalo ni sehemu ya safari ya mabadiliko kwa wafungwa. 
we recognize the profound impact that education can have on individuals who are incarcerated. To us, education is not just about academic learning. It is a transformative tool that empowers individual, a transformative tool that fosters personal growth and promotes rehabilitation and reformation. Tangu mpango huo uanze, maisha ya wafungwa kadhaa yamebadilika huku wengine wakihudumu kama madaktari, wanasheria miongoni mwa wengine. Because this is a um, discipline institution so we have learned about the protocols how we're supposed to conduct ourselves in case of any challenges how we're supposed to come about it i will be teaching as beginning from grade nine also i can also be teaching somebody who is beyond beyond high school it's a vocational i'm ready i'm prepared and equal to the task Jaji mkuu Matakome aliongoza hafla ya uwapisho kwa Hussein uh, Kaida kuwa mwanachama wa baraza la kitaifa la mashujaa. Hafla hiyo ilishuhudiwa na mwenyekiti wa baraza hilo Jimmy Angwenyi na afisa mkumtendaji Charles Wambia. Mwanachama huyo mpya amejitolea kutumikia baraza hilo kadri ya uwezo wake. mwezi mmoja kusailiwa kupata mafunzo na kupokea leseni za kuhudumu hilo ni agizo jipya lililotolewa na halmashauri ya kudhibiti sekta ya mabawabu, ya mabawabu uh, kama njia ya kuzuia uovu ama uhalifu na utovu wa salama viuoni kufuatia ongezeko la visa vya wanafunzi kuuliwa kwenye mabweni mkurugenzi mkuu wa halmashauri hiyo jenerali Fazol Mohamed amesema walinzi wote katika taasisi hizo watahitajika kuwafiki vigezo hivyo uh, na iwapo hawata fanya hivyo basi watatozwa faini ya hadi shilingi milioni mbili au wafungwe jela kwa kuhudumu uh, kinyume cha sheria Fazol alisema hayo kwenye mkutano na wakuu wa vitengo uh, vya ulinzi katika vyuo vikuu uh, uh, sensitization forum that we are doing today in the, in the last uh, few months we have seen uh, a number of students have either been injured or died as a result of insecurities in the institutions of higher learning and uh, as government we have an obligation to ensure that our institutions of higher learning are safe and secure we want to undertake each and every person uh, offering security services in our institutions of higher learning uh, undergo security vetting uh, then they all undergo a standard security training uh, curriculum yeah so that we have a standardization of all security uh, services that is offered across the country and, uh, mandatory training and mandatory registration and licensing now in the absence of that the law provides for penalties in the event you are a corporate person or you are an um, an individual then there are certain penalties that uh, will uh, follow that that includes a fine or imprisonment or in some cases even both but we don't want to get there we want to make sure that every person who is providing security in our institutions of our learning undergoes security vetting by the national security infrastructure they undergo a standardized training so that whether it is a private security officer in, uh, employed in the university of nairobi or kibabi university or pony university they all undergo through one training curriculum and then they all have a registration na madalali katika kaunti ya Nairobi wametoa mali ya thamani ya shilingi milioni saba inayomilikiwa na afisa wa kanisa moja baada ya kushindwa kulipa mkopo wa benki uh, wakili wa wakili wa wadhamini wa mkopo huo wa mbugu wa njohi amesema wadhamini hao tayari wamekatwa pesa huku wengine wakilipa hadi shilingi milioni mbili taarifa kamili ni kwenye mseto wa magatuzi Madalali walifika katika nyumba ya mwekazina mpya wa kanisa moja jijini Nairobi na kubeba vifaa vya kielektroniki, samani na magari vyote vya thamani ya shilingi milioni saba. Inadaiwa mwanaume huyo alikosa kulipa mkopo wake na kulazimisha taasisi iliyomkopesha pesa kuwakata pesa wadhamini wake. Hayo ni kwa mujibu wa wakili wa wadhamini hao wa mbugu wa Njohi. Koti ikatupatia ikatupatia ifini tunaweza 
kupata hiyo pesa kutoka kwa nani David Nderito ndumu lakini sheria sako kama ishakata hiyo pesa ni yao ju they willingly guarantee this person Kamera za kunasa kasi ya magari kwenye barabara ya kaskazini zinadaiwa kuchangia kupungua kwa visa vya ajali katika eneo hilo. Kulingana na Almashauri ya Kitaifa ya Uchukuzi wa Usalama NTC, madereva wanaotumia barabara hiyo huwa waangalifu zaidi, hivyo basi kupunguza ajali kwa asilimia hamsini. Barabara hiyo inajumuisha barabara kuu ya Nairobi na Kuru. Road safety is everybody's responsibility and that's why in the making in the drafting of this action plan it was important to bring on board everybody and elevate the stature of that particular document Mkewe governor wa Kakamega Janet Barasa ametoa wito kwa wazazi kuwahimiza watoto wao kwenda shuleni na kujepusha na ndoa za mapema Tuwaombe tuwahimize tuwapatie mawaidha But how are they going to get our children to save the children? How are they going to get our children? Kwenye safu ya biashara sasa ni kwamba zaidi ya shilingi bilioni tatu zimekusanywa kutokana na matozo dhidi ya kampuni zilizokiuka kanuni za kibiashara katika muda wa miaka mitano iliyopita Halmashauri ya Kudhibiti Mashindano ya Kibiashara imesema nyingi ya kampuni hizo uh, ni zile za biashara ndogo na kadri aidha mwenyekiti wa Halmashauri ya CAK Shaka Kariuki amesema wanaandama kampuni ambazo zinakaidi kanuni za kibiashara taarifa hii na nyingine zaidi ni kwenye mseto wa biashara Kifungu cha moja cha sheria ya kudhibiti mashindano ya kibiashara kinaelezea bayana kuhusu vitendo bandia vinavyohujumu biashara ya bidhaa na huduma. Sheria hiyo hairuhusu mikataba, maamuzi na vitendo vinavyoweza kuchochea mashindano ya siufaa kibiashara humo nchini. Halmashauri ya kudhibiti mashindano ya kibiashara sasa imesema haita sita sita tu kuadhibu watengenezaji bidhaa bali itawachukulia hatua wadau wengine katika sekta hiyo huku ikipanua wigo wake wa kukusanya ushahidi. It's about enforcing the competition act. And as a result of that uh, which yes you are right we've done that a number of times of the uh, recent past but as a result of that uh, over the last, as a matter of fact if you look at it over the last five years uh, we've said the consumer who is our ultimate uh, shareholder wakati uhuo awamu ya kwanza ya ustawishaji jiji la kiteknolojia la konza imefikia asilimia saba baada ya kukamilisha muundo msingi hitajika kama vile uwekezaji umeme na kibwa za masiliano ya mtandao Hatua hii imevutia kampuni maarufu za kuunda magari kutengeneza samani, vifaa vya ujenzi na vifaa vya kielektroniki. Chama cha watengenezaji bidhaa huko nchini kimesema wawekezaji wanatumia vishawishi kadhaa vilivyotolewa na serikali kuwekeza katika jiji hilo. So we are driving the development of a smart city with a, a vision to be a leading global technopolis and innovation hub with a mission to develop a sustainable smart city and innovation ecosystem that will contribute to Kenya's knowledge based economy Hatimaye wadau kwenye sekta ya kunakili muziki huko nchini wamesema wanapinga ukusanyaji wa mrabaha wa wasanii kupitia mfumo wa e-citizen wadau hao wanadai kuwa ukusanyaji mapato kupitia mfumo wa e-citizen utatatizwa na changamoto za kiteknolojia katika kunakili malipo na utoaji leseni kwa wanaonakili muziki pamoja na uwezo wa kukadiria unakili wa muziki kwa ajili ya malipo ya mrabaha the board is given the powers by the members once you collect after you have paid debts after you have done what you have done to be able to look at the costs as a company and declare this is how much we are going to distribute we are able to collaborate with the right people to ensure that their royalties are collected and evenly distributed that level of transparency is what we're hoping to achieve because they work hard Michezo ni ni kwamba wakazi mjini Eldoret walijitokeza kwa wingi kumwenzi mwanariadha anayeshikilia rekodi ya dunia ya mbio za marathoni Kelvin Kiptum 
ambaye anazikuwa leo nyumbani kwake huku shughuli zote zikisimama katika jiji hilo ibada ya mazishi itafanywa katika uwanja wa shule ya upili ya Chepsamo ambapo rais William Ruto anatarajiwa kuhudhuria mwili wa marehemu Kiptumu lihamishwa kutoka chumba cha kuhifadhi maiti cha hospitali ya Doret hapo jana na kusindikizwa kwa msafara kwa takriban kilomita 80 kupitia mji wa Eldoret hadi uwanja wa Itena na kisha kwenye kanisa la SK Chepkorio kwa ibada ya maombi wakiongozwa mtazamaji sekunde tu kidogo zimesalia igonge saa moja na dakika tano asubuhi ya leo kwa ni Ijumaa ya 23 uh, tarehe 23 mwezi wa Februari mwaka 2028 mtazamaji na komea papo uh, taarifa hizi asubuhi ya leo shukran kwa kuamka nasi na kujumuika nasi kuanzia mwanzo hadi hapa nilipofika lakini mwanzangu Rashid Mamkondo atakuwa ndiye mwenye kuchukua sukani katika kitengo chetu cha mambo bayana hi leo akiwa na mgeni seneta Shakila Abdalla ambaye watakuwa wanazungu mzia mstakabali wa waipa kwenye muungano wa azimio mtazamaji ni ruhusu tu ni kuage ni kuachie papo mimi nikamchemenza lakini ijumaa ijayo tufanye vivi hivi masalamu